The third piece of educational technology I'm going to be talking about is the virtual microscope. This was created by NC Community College. So I really, really liked this one for the level of students that I have this year. It has been a while since they've been in, you know, in-person classes. So a lot of them have some behavioral issues and just overall um, not super mature in the ability to um, use equipment that can be particularly expensive. So I was very nervous to bring out our microscopes, even though I love using them in the classroom. I think it's great for students to be able to see things on a small scale, um, to actually see that it's there and that it's not just something that we're talking about. So I was really excited to find this virtual microscope. Uh, the biggest thing behind this is you can, they can kind of just learn about, you know, the actual use of the microscope, the different parts of it, why we use immersion oil, general care, some of the terminology. Uh, they can quiz themselves on it. You can provide, there's some worksheets that you can give out to students that, to supplement with that. But one of my favorite things about it is that it sticks pretty true to the process of using a real microscope. So you can go in to explore. I have my students come into here. You have your microscope slides here just like you would in person. So we'll just go ahead and pull out an onion root. It's going to load it on there. How you have here, you have your course, fo or your co course focus and your fine focus. So they're taught to always start with your course focus when you're on your scanning objective, which is your lowest at 4x until you get a pretty clear image. And then you're going to go ahead and jump up to 10x. And really, at this point, you should only be focusing with your fine focus. So it does a good job of explaining that to them when they go through the tutorial. You get that as clear as you possibly can. Maybe increase the light as you get to a higher objective, or maybe it needs to go lower. Jumping up to our high objective at 40x stays pretty true. I believe these are actual images from a microscope, so it's really good visual for them. They can move it around. You can see the different phases of mitosis here in the onion, onion root tip. And then finally, when it asks you to go to 100x, it requires you to go ahead and add the immersion oil, which I think this is great because that's something that they, you know, that's really important for them to know. Another thing that happens here is if they try to use anything but the fine focus, when they are on this high power objective, it's gonna go ahead and say, you might have just damaged the microscope. So it's a good way to teach them this skill before they actually have a couple hundred dollar microscope in their hands and, and make that mistake. So it's really good for them to start off with before you actually get them to use them in class. So the goal for this is to teach proper microscope uh, etiquette before I actually have my students using the microscopes, because again, those can be expensive. The slides that they use can, you know, they're made of glass that can break and cause cuts, sort of a safety hazard type of thing. Uh, this would be good for middle school and high school students. Uh, it worked really well for my life science students. They uh, seemed to enjoy this. Uh, they were pretty excited to get their hands on an actual microscope after going through this. So what this is going to cover, this would be ISCE for students 1.1c and also for students uh, 1.4b.